happen. Alright, so let's go on and get with those. We got some announcements to go. Um, just hopping right into it since we already got some of the spiel out of the way earlier. Um, uh, most of them stream related. So the first one I teased out on my Twitter, which if you guys didn't know, I have a new Twitter. I'm just going to keep plugging it there. Um, so you're going to check it out at iPy11. Uh, and the thing I kind of teased out, well, I'm not going to show it. it. It said pie on it. And that's because it is a little something I've been working on for a little bit here. Which, if it's popping up, and I think it should be, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, should work this time. Yeah, we got a brand new logo here. It's the new official iPi logo that I made. Um, the Pi says iPi on it. We got Giggle Squee up in the corner. And then, because, you know, I'm the one using this logo, I can actually put my own copyright on it. Something I don't usually get to do because I'm making logos for other people, but... Got my copyright on it, which I'm always happy to be able to do. Um... On the subject of new, like, stuff for this stream... You'll be able to see this. It's gonna replace the little Sonic icon that I've been using for the past year. And also, this will probably be my new Twitter icon, too. So, expect that those changes to happen later today, after this stream. Um, wh what do you guys think of it? Do y'all like it? Pi, it's a pie, it says iPie. Darkstar likes it. Yeah, I like the Sonic too, but you know, I need something original. It's it's OC, do not steal, even though that's just a logo and not actually a character. On that same note though, um Twitch did update some things about affiliates and their emotes. Mainly they're slowly rolling out more affiliate slots based off of the same way partners have, where it's, you know, it's based on how many subscriber points you have, and you get subscriber points by having subscribers. Um, I've got one unused emote slot here. See, we got one of two. This is not including the premium stuff. So these two can stay as they are, you know, the fat weasel and... Pi Illuminati, if you ever want to subscribe those amounts. Um. What was I thinking? So, I'm going to be doing. I've already started working on it. There's one that I have that's kind of finalized, but there's another one I kind of want to use more, but I have to kind of confer with some people about this first. But expect a new raid emote. A Pi raid emote to hit soon. And that'll be something I put on the base level. It's gonna be... So if you only have a tier 1, you'll be fine. And you'll be able to use it. And we'll all be able to, when we raid, you know, we'll actually be able to represent the raid. So that'll be something. That'll be, that'll be coming through. You'll be all, you'll be getting hit with the pie raid soon. Yeah, getting hit with the pie emote, exactly. As far as what's coming later in the week, um, I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna happen yet, but I've managed to secure, let me get this up. So, 8-Bit just released a new controller just this past week. It's, uh, Based off of the Sega Genesis 6 button slash Sega Saturn controllers. Probably a little more Sega Saturn because it's got bumpers on it. And I don't 
have one. Um, I wanted to order one, but I didn't. But I have a nearby friend who did order one. And I'm going to... He's gonna let me borrow his controller so I can do... Let's say basically a review. But I'm gonna do this with a different perspective than, let's say, other... Other outlets have done. This is a controller that it's Bluetooth, so it works with the Switch, but it can also work with the PC. And so far, like just looking at it, everyone's done. This video is looking at how it works with like classic games and emulators. It's a six button controller with a really good D pad. So I want to take a different spin. I want to do a review seeing how it's gonna work with more modern day fighting games because i wasn't thinking about doing that at first i would have just done an unboxing when i got one if i ever got one but he pointed out that like at least with tekken it's it functions kind of weird in that game so that's what got me the idea of like i should do a video like reviewing this for an out of context use from what i understand it feels solid, but, you know, it'll happen sometime in the week. It's just a matter of... I have to wait for him to get the controller to me. So... Probably end of the week next week. I'm not entirely sure when, but you can keep... As soon as I get the controller, you can sit, you can know for certain that I'm gonna, you know, confirm that I got it on Twitter. So that's another reason to follow me on Twitter. Um... Okay, so we got, let's say we got the good news out of the way. And you might be asking, oh, why don't you just buy the controller yourself? So this leads me into, got some updates about the broken foot that's been healing. And, um, well, it's healing pretty well. Uh, for those that might not have been there at the time, around Christmas, my foot broke. And here you can see where it's, you know, the fracture. And I wasn't healing, so uh, at the start of January, I had to go and get surgery. This is my foot after surgery. I'm not going to linger too much on that. But they had to put metal in my foot to hold the bone together. Um... And so that was January, and I haven't really been able to walk or do much. And I think I mentioned it at the time, but I, I, I'm not insured, and I expected this to come out and be an expensive thing to do. My foot's healing up pretty nice now. This is, this is, you know, I took kind of a blurry photo because it's kind of hard, but that's all that's left of the big scarring and everything. Um... And... I should be able to walk in another couple of weeks, although I'll need, like, an ankle brace. And I'll probably need physical therapy following that. But... As this recovery period comes to an end, there's gonna... There's, there's probably gonna be a lot of... Just structural changes to my ability being able to stream on Twitch. And I've kind of been softly leaning towards this with... I haven't been streaming as much during the middle of the week and kind of focusing more around the weekend. And that's because we got a few... let's see... The, the bills are starting to roll in. And I'm gonna go from back to front here. I was gonna go differently. So, I've just got a few of the bills that have been coming through, and it's it doesn't look so bad so far. We got, you know, 217 to me. This one here is only a 73. And this one's just for x-rays. And this one is where we start to get a little bit more... $3,172. I don't even know. I think this is just for some of the equipment that they were using. And 
I'm... I don't have health insurance at the moment. Uh, a number of factors with me moving to North Carolina from Florida. You know, getting around. I wasn't able to keep up my insurance. So at the time this happened... This is all what I owe out of pocket. And the big one, this one for the hospital itself, 37,000. So basically what this means is as soon as I recover and I'm able to go out and do stuff, I need to seek like some very strong, a, a good job. Because this is the cost of surgery on just a single bone in the foot in the United States. And I'm sorry that this is gonna be a little political because America has a really shitty healthcare situation right now. It had a shitty one before Obama, during Obama, and an even worse one now. Um, luckily, I've been kind of chasing down the hospital people. I, I don't have an updated statement because it's still coming in the mail. Um, I'm not going to be held to pay this all at once due to my circumstances. But I still have to pay pretty significant portions every month for the next roughly two and a half to three years. Um, they're giving me a little bit of leeway up front. So I'm looking at probably paying an extra... I think it was like 1,400 some odd dollars each month. Uh, to cover this hospital, these hospital charges, um, so, you know, I'm gonna have to dedicate a lot of time to making the money to do that, which means I'm gonna have to get any kind of job I can, hopefully a better one, pick back up on my freelance logo and print designs, and of course, you know, anything that I get on Working with Twitch and stuff um, is gonna be funneled in towards this. So that means also I'm probably gonna, gonna have to slow down with doing like new games and like getting products to do like videos like what I wanted to do with that M30 controller. Um, I'm not gonna you know, try and put all the burden on Twitch and donations, because obviously that's kind of stupid. I don't... Plus, I don't want to drain you guys out too much. So, because of that, I'm probably going to have to dedicate the Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. And once that starts, I'll be like a weekend streamer. You know? Which... More important of a reason to follow me on Twitter, because... You'll be able to get, like, status updates and stuff there that I won't be able to do anymore as frequently just going through Twitch itself. Um... Oh, that sucks, Mars. I feel sorry. I know how that is, because my dad... Uh, he had... Cancer... Um, and we looked at it. He had Medicare, or Medicaid, because he was, you know, older. But even with that coverage, it would have still been over $50,000 for, like, the, the, you know, our cut. The down payment, the, not down payment, the deductible. Um, and a lot of... The financial part of that is a lot of the reason why he ended up just not seeking treatment. Part of it was because they caught it at the tail end of stage 3. So, like, even if they did start treatment, it would have been a very slight chance that it would have... He would have made it through. But also, the cost was still very prohibitive. So he ended up foregoing, like, any advanced treatment with the cancer. Anyhow, I'm gonna take a quick moment here. We've got 
all the announcements out of the way. Um, and just, I wanted to let everyone in with kind of where I am in the current state of things. And where, you know, I don't want to stop streaming entirely. I really like, you know, coming out and playing games to entertain, entertain you guys and help out with that. You know, I like, I like being someone you can come to for a variety of opinions about different games, tech, and, you know, a knowledge base that is maybe a bit older than what some of the other Twitch streamers are. And I don't want to give that up. But I have to kind of look out for my own life, because if I'm homeless, there's no way I'll be able to do that in any case, so... That's just kind of where I am with things. And I want to thank each and every one of you that are here now, and that have been supporting me uh, with donations and stuff up till now. Um... And, you know, I'm just gonna start small with what we're going towards, because... A lot of this also depends with what kind of job I land in going forward for my 9 to 5. So, like, the extra costs are the only thing I'm gonna seek with from Twitch for the moment. I'm gonna basically go from the low cost to the high cost as far as what my donations are going towards with Twitch. And as you can see on the, the blank screen here, in the corner, we got, you know, already set up with the new goal the you know the x-ray the radiology whatever they call it and you know that's just what's gonna go forward with 